something a little different today folks just a short video on how to make one of my favorite but not the healthiest of bar snacks now we all love a little bit of pork crunch pork rind and that's basically what pork crunch is made out of so we've got some lovely Lincolnshire pork rind here and what we're going to do is turn it into our recognisable friendly pork rind not everyone knows how to do this because there's a little trick to it actually and the trick is the deep fat fryer which is just there normally lives outside this smelly piece of kit so what we want to be doing is getting a nice sharp knife and cutting this you can cut it into strips or squares whatever you like I'm gonna cut this into squares today and do something a little bit different oh before I cut it as well I'm gonna score forgot about that I'm gonna be scoring across the rind in a diamond pattern I'll just do this bit here that I've already cut off like a prat and then we will dice it. Give it a dice. Okay, so we continue. We'll cut it into squares. There we go, we've got the full pack cut up into lovely little squares pork rind squares they don't want any seasoning on or anything like that because you'll ruin the oil because what we're going to do is fry these in vegetable oil I wonder if you could use lard probably so we'll turn on the machine which is here there we go and we want to go up to about 130-140 degrees C and then we're going to put the squares in the deep fat fryer and there they will remain for approximately an hour yes long time and what we're going to do is draw the moisture out of these we want them to be completely dried out and then we'll show you the next step so we'll get these in there plop them in separately don't want them sticking together because it will take longer for them to dry out And we'll come back to these periodically and see how they are going on. There we go, we're sizzling away now for a good 10 minutes. You see they're starting to curl up and dry out. But they're still very wet inside, which is what we want to get rid of. So they'll be uh, bubbling away like this for quite some time. But the bubbles will stop at some point when the and that's indicating that the water the moisture has come out of the rinds. That's when we want to go on to the next stage. Okay, we're approaching the next step now. So I've taken these out of the fryer. And what we're going to do is turn the heat up, full whack. You can see the oil is sizzling away quite nicely in there. And then we'll take these nicely cooked little pieces of pork rind and pop them in. And you will see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and fish these out. Now I did them separately just to test that the oil was hot enough. So what I will do now is put the whole basket full back in. And fingers crossed, they should all start floating to the top. We'll turn the fryer off, zip them out of the oil 
and pop them with this the other two on a bit of kitchen towel listen to them crackle spread them out seasoned with a little bit of salt while they're still warm I use the low sodium salt, it's a little bit healthier. So the key to getting these right is that your pork rind doesn't want to have a lot of fat on it, otherwise this happens. That's the fat on the pork rind. If you can cut all the fat off, all the better, and they'll puff up like massive pork crunch. But these were a little bit fattier than what I would have liked. And you also have to make sure that you cook them long enough to dehydrate the skin. The puffier you want them, the more dehydrated you have to get the pork rinds. But there's a nice little easy to do at home bar snack. Marginally cheaper than buying them I think. Not bad for a Sunday. See you tomorrow.